Okay, we've got a good one today. We've got the integral from zero to infinity, sine squared tan x over x squared dx. Okay, this one kind of came about, this one came about from another video I did because not too far back, I did an integral that was just basically the same thing, but we had an x here instead of a tangent. And this one right here is a perfectly good case where you can use Lobachevsky's integral. The only problem is it's so simple because there's nothing in our formula, which we have over here for Lobachevsky's integral, or over here, or over somewhere. If we do it on this one, if you think of it like a one right here, the function in the formula is just one, so it's just kind of a very simple case. Not very good for a video because if this was the problem, we could do the video in like 10 seconds. And I know there is some other ways to do this one, but a good example for me, where I don't have a trivial example to use Lobachevsky's integral, is to have a tan x right here. Now the troubling thing about it is now, the way we have it here, it doesn't match the formula because we really do need the x there in order to use the formula. So what I'm gonna do is let's actually just create, let's kind of force this to happen. If I multiply in sine squared x, now we have what we need here and here, but I don't wanna change it, right? So, so we'll multiply by one, just multiplying in sine squared x in the denominator. And then let's just rearrange this to make it really clear. So we have our sine squared x over x squared, Again, keep in mind the formula works with sine x over x or sine squared over x squared. So we have that here. And then we'll have all the other stuff. We're gonna have sine squared tan x over sine squared. Now to use the formula first, let's identify the f of x. It's gonna be all this stuff because we got, we've got this setup over here. So here, this is gonna be our f of x. And our check on this, we want this to be pi periodic, but we need to write it this way with the pi first. Coming back here, this is clearly gonna be even because everything is squared. But also we can look at this a little more carefully, like for, let's just get all the values we need. Long story short, none of this is really gonna matter very much because first here in the denominator, when you square it, this minus sign is gonna go away. This case is gonna clearly work because you just get back tangent, you put it in here, you get back the same thing. Maybe let's just look at this last case when you have, if we're looking at f of pi minus x, then in the numerator here, you end up with, you end up with a minus tan x inside of the sine. We've already determined the denominator is fine, so this is gonna be a sine squared. Now sine is an odd function, so what I can do is kind of take this minus sine out front here, but then let's use some different notation, like let's just show that the square, let's just show that we're squaring the whole thing here. Well, when you do that, the minus becomes a plus, you get back, Again, sine squared tan x over sine squared x. But this right here is the same thing as our f of x. So this check is gonna work. I know you can do this a lot quicker once you get used to the supplementary angle formulas, but I wanna just show how that part works. So now that we showed the check works, we can just go ahead and use our formula. First, what this allows us to do, we reduce the bounds, and now it's gonna be zero to pi over two. This part goes away and we just have our f of x left. So now we're integrating sine squared tan x over sine squared x. And still this looks a little tricky, so let's do a u substitution to try to clean it up and see what's happening. So I'll do u equal to tan x. You could do this two ways. I think I feel like doing it and isolating x. The other way is probably better, but I like the, I like the worst way in a lot of cases. So let's do the worst way. <laughs> I think it's probably better to just differentiate the u, but I like to show things multiple ways. So let's, isolate x and do it this way. So we'll differentiate here. This is gonna be, derivative here is gonna be just one over u squared plus one du. And then before substituting, the only other thing I need is I need a value for sine x. So we just can draw the triangle really quick. This is why I say maybe the other way is better because you can skip the triangle, but again, let's do it the slower way. So here, tan x is gonna be drawing our triangle. Think of this like u over one. Pythagorean theorem allows me to get the third side, which is just gonna be u squared plus one. Doing this then, now we know our sine value because it's just gonna be opposite over hypotenuse, which is just u over square root, u squared plus one. Go ahead and substitute it. Plug in pi over two here. 10 pi over two is happening at infinity. Plug in zero, tan at zero is just zero. Then in the numerator, we've got this where this is just gonna become sine squared of u here. Our sine squared value, we just need to square this. So when you square this, you're gonna get u squared over u squared plus one. 
DX is gonna be all this stuff here. So let's kind of write it carefully. I'll, I'll write this. Yeah, let's kind of write it like this. So we'll multiply in u squared plus one here. u squared plus one is gonna cancel. And what we're left with is the integral that I didn't wanna do this way before. This is what we had a few, like a week back or whatever, which is just sine squared over u squared. But now for this thing, we can use the formula and we've got our easy case with the formula. So we're doing Lobachevsky's twice. We're doing Lobachevsky's integral twice here. We'll create a one right there. Then what happens is this right here, this is our f of x value. You could just go to the solution right now because this is the common case. So this is just like, you could just jump right to the solution. But let's just show it out really quick anyway. So then what's gonna happen is this part goes away. You can do the check on f of x that it's pi periodic, but there's no x in here. So when you plug in, so when you plug in pi minus x or pi plus x, it's not gonna matter. You just get back one no matter what you do. So this check works. And then we reduce this to the integral from zero to pi over two of just one du. Integrate this, integrating u from zero to pi over two, plug everything in, final solution of this is just pi over two. Okay, there you have it. I think it's a pretty interesting example where we get to use Lobachevsky's twice and we have to kind of force it to happen. So I think there's a lot of good stuff in that one. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.